William and I took a trip to Chedarawe to pick up some groceries. We got some veggies, because you gotta eat your veggies, guys, <laughs> a few limes, and a rotisserie chicken. The day after our trip to Isla, William went into town to extend his visa, so when he got back, we had a late lunch. We didn't really have anything planned for the day, so we ended up just taking a trip to the beach. Good afternoon. We just walked down to the beach here at the resort, at the hotel. It's not a resort, right? Some resort. Yeah, well, we're at a not resort. Not our resort. Yeah, we're, we're at another resort right now, but it's on the same beach patch. So I think what we're gonna do is go on the swings. They're behind me, if you can see them. And yeah, we're just gonna chill out here for a little bit. We're taking a snack break and eating some chips. Dorito. Doritos. But I am craving a margarita, kind of. I will make one for you. We're gonna make margaritas later. No, um, thanks. No, it's okay. Yo tengo. Hey guys. <laughs> um, we are leaving the beach now. We're gonna head back to the hotel. And we had a pretty relaxing afternoon on the beach, sat in the swings for a little bit. Now we're gonna head back and make some margaritas. Yeah. Woohoo! We just made it back to the hotel. We're just snacking on some leftover pizza. Lobster the pizza. Lobster pizza from yesterday. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. It's good cold. And then we're gonna make margaritas. So, a traditional tequila recipe would be three parts tequila. Okay, so I messed up when I was saying this. Sorry guys. A traditional margarita recipe calls for three parts tequila, two parts orange liqueur or triple sec to one part lime juice. If you don't have triple sec or orange liqueur, you can always just squeeze the juice of an orange and that'll take the place of the orange liqueur. All right, so I made the margaritas for us and we did frozen this time instead of on the rocks and they came out really great. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. What are we gonna do now? We finished one margarita each. We're gonna dance battle. No, no oh. dancing. I got a coffee. I don't want it. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Hello! Good afternoon. We got a rental car today because we wanted to go to some of the cenotes in Valladolid. So I think we're going to try to make it to one of the famous cenotes in the area called Iquil. And then there's another one uh, also near close to that one. It's called. Uh, it's called Sonota Soy Tune. So we're gonna try to make it there. We kind of got off to a late start, but um, yeah, we 
got lost. And we did get lost just a second ago, but now we're on the right road and it's gonna be like a two hour drive over there. Taking a little break to eat some salad. Tortilla, salad. Ensalada con aguacate, tomates, Guacamole. broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> Is it good? No. Okay, a little update. Um, our dreams have been shattered because when we arrived to eat Kiel, the man outside said that it was closed and he also said that all of the cenotes in the Yucatan are also closed because of the virus. So we rented a car today to be able to come to the cenote and we paid money to cross the border into Yucatan and paid for the toll roads as well and it was all for nothing, unfortunately. So we are gonna try to go to some cenotes probably tomorrow in like near the Tulum area. <sighs> but we're both really sad because we really wanted to see EQ and it she didn't work out. Hmm? This date is shit. Everything <laughs> closed. Uh, oh well, it's okay. We're also low on gas. We all yes, we need gas ASAP right now. We have like a bar left. So now we're just headed back to Cancun for the time being. We should just buy a, a bunch of coffee. <laughs> coffee. Well guys, this is the end of the video. Definitely stay tuned for the next one because we visit three different cenotes within the Tulum area. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.